the Saturday afternoon shootout is on the air. Warning, although the information expressed on the show has been researched by our staff, it may not be correct. All opinions made by the hosts or their guests are theirs alone and should not be considered legal advice. Be sure to consult an attorney before attempting anything you hear on the show. Just because we say it on the internet doesn't mean it will stand up in court. Now, here are your hosts. Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Shootout. Right here in uh, Flint, the murder capital of the world still. Ooh. Or not the world. Certainly not the world, would I say. Not the yeah, world. you said world. I don't know. I don't know about that. It might be. It's the world. Ca- no, come on. No, Mexico has. I mean, right. what, what does There's it take to be a capital of something? Anyways, in the country, number one, we'll talk about that in a little bit. We're on the 15th floor of the Wilson Building. Beautiful day in downtown Flint. Look out the window. Birds are flying. Sandhill cranes are craning, and the chickadees are deeing, and everything is wonderful. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about a lot of things today. I want to say Nate's here with us. We have Tyler, and we have. Steven. He didn't want us to give his real name, so we're we not. He didn't. Yeah. Welcome, guys. Uh, because apparently nobody wants to be on the show and have uh, their real identity known. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff, right? That's Nate? why we use aliases. Yeah, we're not really who we say we are. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Boston bombing. I know it's old news. We'll probably talk more about the uh, martial law that took place. Call it whatever you want. It was martial law. Safety. Is what I call it. Public, safety. I call it safety. For your safety? Public safety. Talk about search and seizures and what that entails and what the Fourth Amendment is. Uh, what a terrorist is. What are weapons of mass destruction and more. So uh, probably a few other things. What do you want to talk about first, Nate? Do I don't know? know. If you want to call in, you can. Uh, we might oh, yeah. have to pass notes back and forth. Yeah, so our head site. Our, our, okay. 208-1854. You can see it up here. Uh, our headphones aren't working, so we're going to have to call our producer. producer's going to have to write it down, which he will get it all screwed up. Do you like purple? That'll be the question or something. And, and then he'll write it into us, and then we'll try to answer it. Yes. Uh, he is bilingual, so if you'd like to call up in yeah, you uh, can Mandarin, por- Chinese. Portuguese, whatever. We get a lot of Brazilians. Apparently he's more than bilingual, oh, yes. I suppose. <laughs> he's polylingual. Or he doesn't know English. He knows Mandarin <laughs> and Portuguese, so that's it. That's why we have trouble understanding him. When he goes, <laughs> well, no, that, that was that offensive. Was, that was offensive. Because that was Japanese. You obviously I know are getting them mixed up. I, well, you can't tell. Is it that. Oriental? It just covers everything? Oriental. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Oriental is an object. Uh, uh, Asian is a, is a race or, you know, a, a characteristic. Of oh, a there went our Asian audience. <laughs> See you, see you, Juan. <laughs> and that's W-O-N. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> see how we you. got you there? Oh, yeah. boy. Moving on. Well, speaking of search and seizures, I mean, <laughs> lots of crap went on in Boston and Watertown. Uh, lots of videos coming out, as I knew uh, they would when I was watching it live. I said, you know, this is, if this isn't a wake-up call for the, the people in the country to see how uh, militarized our police <laughs> have come, uh, I don't know what, what uh, will do it. Um, probably door-to-door confiscations and loading people up on rail cars uh, might do it. I'm not even sure it would then. It didn't in Germany because they took large masses. Man, I don't know. I think some of those people in Boston and Watertown would have facing walked up. out the door. Oh, I agree. I agree. That's what I'm car. saying. It happened in Germany. And even when they were loading up large population segments of the Jewish population, they, you know, they, as long as it wasn't me, I, I don't care. Well, that's fine. And that's, uh, we can't let that happen. But lots of videos coming out. We've seen them on the Internet uh, where, you know, cops are basically not asking for permission to come in and search your home, knocking on the door. You answer. They grabbed you, made you uh, come out with your hands on your heads. They frisked you, uh, detained you on the sidewalk while they went through your house. And they did that uh, house after house after house after house. And I don't know that anybody even had a chance to say no. I haven't heard of any. Uh, buddy that said no, and uh, I heard a couple stories of people that said it wasn't a big deal. That the police knocked on their door, said, "Have you seen anybody?" No, you haven't seen anybody. Have you checked around? Yeah, okay. Kind of stepped in, looked in their kitchen, whatever, and, and left. I mean, that was somebody that walked for worked for the Boston Globe or something like that. So who knows? But uh, it was. I I have heard a couple stories that it wasn't too bad for some people, but I mean, where's the line? Yeah, I, really, you know, and I think the line is at the Constitution and the Fourth Amendment is where the line needs to be. And walking into your kitchen and looking in your kitchen is still an infringement on your your freedom. 
Well, absolutely. I, I, what I would be more interested in is what would the police have done if more people had said, no, you're not coming in my house. What about home, homes where nobody was there or didn't answer their door? Yeah, did because likely I wouldn't have answered my door once I saw what was going on. Right. Would they have come in? Because, I mean, you would think if you think that this suspect is in one of the houses and somebody doesn't answer the door, wouldn't you think, oh, he might have them hostage in there? Right? I mean, right. So then logically, what do you do? Then right what do you or do? wrong. But then, yeah, then what do you do? Huh? Flash grenades and battering ram? Possibly. Infrared cameras. Like I, like I said, uh, I haven't seen that much armor on, this, on city streets since Paris in 1945. Yeah. Uh, you get that reference? Okay, good. I think you're the only one. Uh, but apparently in Modesto, California, one of my favorite places in the world. This is the one I wanted to get to. Okay. Uh, apparently there was an award by the city of $120,000 to a woman and her two adult mm -hmm. daughters settle a lawsuit. If you want to go into it, you can. Um, apparently, it was a uh, repo team was out there trying to uh, take their car. She says, no, 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 you've made a mistake. I'm paid up. And they're like, nah, you're not. We're going to take your car. She refused. They said, all right, we're calling the police. The police came there. And instead of actually investigating it and finding out if she would paid it, they said, open your garage. And they manhandled her, put her in handcuffs opened the garage, let the repo guys take her car. Uh, they knocked some of the other kids around, or the, the older adults there, pushed them around a little bit. I'm not sure if did they if they went into their house proper or it was just the garage. Anyways, uh, they helped the re repo team take the car. Come to find out, she was paid up, and it was a mistake. <laughs> and even more so, uh, either a law in California or a policy, I don't remember which, but I think it's a law, that the police can neither help or hinder repo people when they're repossessing items from them. They can be there and observe, and if they see violations of the law, they can interact, but they can't yeah. help the repo yep. team, and they can't not stop them from doing it. So, oopsie, $120,000, which I thought was a little low. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a pretty small price for, <laughs> you know, your, your freedoms to be taken away like that. I, it, this is the sort, I mean, I've seen this firsthand, where somebody comes up working for some company, repo company, or whatever, I've heard stories of, you know, Child Protective Services, things like that. They come, they have problems, they call the police. The police come, and they're you automatically. Know, automatically on the side of the idiot that's on the doorstep trying to get in the house, right. oh, rather yeah, than yeah. investigating and figuring out what's going on. Or, better yet, staying the hell out of it, since there's nothing illegal going on, just right. go away, Right. mind your business, and right. we'll call you if we need you. Yeah, and if there is an issue on social service or whatever, uh, get a warrant. Or you can, you know, you can have the police then go and confiscate or whatever after you go through the legal system. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 what was the other thing? There was something else came on about this case. Oh, yeah, she had called when the, when the cops were out there and they were trying to... Re she had called 911 and said, can you send some supervisor or can I talk to a, a lieutenant or something like that because, you know, they're, they're violating my rights. And 911 said, you know, don't call us again, click. Yeah. Wow. So, so that was all part of so it. So a cop arrests a criminal when he breaks the law or a person when they break the law. So who arrests the cops or they, they, when they break the or law? They, or they have probable cause to think they broke the law. Right. Yeah, right. Sure. Innocent people are arrested all the time. Well, I guess in theory, the way it works, the police would arrest the police if they were breaking the law, right? Well, that's what I would. I, mean, I, I Even as a kid, I always wondered if, if, if a politician or somebody who took an oath to support and defend the Constitution legitimately broke one of the articles or one of the amendments or violated the Constitution. Who, who, yeah, I mean, can you arrest a senator? Like, can I call a cop and say, hey, the senators? I don't think there's any law that has punitive damages for anyone breaking the Constitution. What about uh, the color of law? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, but that's a different law. Oh, color of law? Yeah, but that's a civil matter, I think. Right. I but don't know that that's a criminal it's matter. Not a, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. I don't, I don't know. Between, yeah, I, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. Be, would a senator Besides just, treason. Would it be besides, just high crime and misdemeanors? Yeah, I, I because there are officials so. in high office. Yeah, yeah but I don't. I've never so. read the Constitution. that says, and if you violate these right. laws, you will be punished with death or something. So then, sure. what about what about a police officer who blatantly breaks the law? I mean, like, like I can do a citizen's arrest in Michigan, 
Well, you got to define breaking the law. I mean, a police cop could, driving, uh, cop driving without a seatbelt down the road. Can I, can I pull him? Do over? a citizen's arrest? Uh, I, I suppose so. Well, I'm not sure. Can they arrest people for driving without a seatbelt? Yeah, they, they can stop. That, they can detain they can stop you and give yeah, you. Yeah, they a can citation. detain you and, and give and give you. Yeah. And, and there's videotapes of that where yeah, somebody yeah. tried to do that. Yeah, I've seen. Well, and I've seen. I don't think it ended well. Was it trying to uh, do a citizen's arrest on Carl Rove or something? See, now in the state of Michigan, I mean, you can try it. I have a book uh, that the state police use. I think I hooked you onto it. It was the criminal procedure book from mm-hmm. the state police. Yeah. And there is, uh, you know, for misdemeanor and felony, there you have to meet certain requirements. But as a citizen, you can make an arrest. So I'm just curious, hey, can I do that on, a law, on an officer as well? Well, I would think so. That's what I was, you know. I don't know how well it would go, go over. It ain't going to work too well, but. You think you'd resist? Yes. Of yeah. course. Yeah, and I think he'd call for backup. Yeah. yeah. So so they like would, they would so when it, when a cop this. pulls you over and and thinks that you're not cooperating and he twists your arm a little bit to push you up against the car and it hurts and you automatically resist because it hurts, that's okay. But when you twist the cop's arm and try to put him face down on the hood, that's that's not okay. That's, that's a felony. felony. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, it's they're, yeah. things are a bit upside so down. We're, we're, we're all we're all equal. Yeah. Uh, we're all equal under the under the constitution. Uh-huh. Fair and equal under uh-huh. the constitution. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, well you just well, brighten up our day. What, what, what are you going to do? Uh, let's talk about uh, what a terrorist is. We, you know, Nate and I were talking about that oh, in I, private. I know, that and I know that one. There's no definition. Go ahead. You tell us. It's me and you. Well, okay. But but li- I want a lawful definition. No, I'm not. I'm not. In the statutes. And uh, well, I, I mean, it, it is defined in some statutes. For sure. I know it is. And I it, it, Well, I saw it, and I don't remember... I'm not sure if it was in the Military Commission Act or not. I don't think it was. I think it was. 2006 that Bush, right. that Bush pushed, pushed through. But it says it, you had to do something and meet certain criteria, but it really didn't. It was defining certain acts, but not really what I wish I had. I, I, sh- I should have written this down. But I, I, I read a federal statute that defined terrorist as basically somebody using a weapon of mass destruction, which was also defined. And it to does. It harm does. On people, and it does, places, things, yeah, all the right, nouns. Right. Uh, but the thing is, it's a, but, it's yeah, a sliding I mean, definition. It can uh-huh. be whatever the administration wants to call you. It can be whatever they decide to call you. It's it's really a dangerous, dangerous word. And and like uh, Stephen was saying, um, not to be confused with Steve. I don't want to be Steve. Yeah, that's that's his real name, Steve. So thanks. Um, <laughs> wow, that cat's out of the bag. But not Stephen. Right, I so I didn't I didn't let anything go. Only when I'm in trouble. So, <laughs> Steven. Uh, yeah. Nepal, what's her name? Janet. Yeah, yeah, that's Steve. what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, Stephen said, you know, you and I are terrorists, and yeah, we are. I mean, if you look at some of the uh, watch groups and some of the definitions that Big Sis is uh, is yeah, I mean, doing, well, I got some. I got still that right here. On to that. Well, yeah, she said, uh, let's see, me and my wife, we go to Sam's yeah, once a month. We, go. we hoard food. We buy yeah, got, large quantities okay. of it. Yep. A big sis thinks vets are security risks. Yep. She said, I quote, we are on the lookout for criminal and terrorist activities, but we do not, nor will we ever monitor ideology, bullshit, or political belief, bullshit. Right. We take seriously our responsibility to protect the civil rights and liberties of the American people, bullshit, including subjecting our activities to rigorous oversight for numerous internal and external sources. <laughs> then you look at right-wing extremists. The report goes on, says, beyond real religious and racial hate groups and extends to those that are mainly anti-government, rejecting federal authority in favor of state or local authority, hmm. or rejecting government authority entirely. So, if you believe in and want to follow the U.S. Constitution... Sounds like the U.S. Constitution. You are a right-wing extremist and worthy of scrutiny by Big Sis. Is this the, That's frightening. Is this from the same report that yes, came out I right think, after Obama was yeah. inaugurated? I, I think so, and she has not... Denied that that's not going right. on. Yeah, yeah, and, and it is. It's obvious that it is. And when you see things like the Boston bombing, even the media is complicit in that because the first thing they're doing is saying it was an anti-tax group, it was the Tea Party, it was a Republican, all right wing groups. Yeah. It was yeah. somebody obviously white, right wing Christian religious guy. Had to obviously be. had to be a white terrorist. Yeah, I'm even sure it was. care the those. Awesome people came out and said, "Oh, please don't be a Muslim, right?" Right. So it's. Oops. Oh, too yeah, bad. they got that wrong, didn't they? It was a Muslim. That's all right. They're funding them anyway. So. It goes on, quote, it says, It may include groups and individuals that are dedicated to a single issue, 
such as opposition to abortion or immigration, that's huh. included, which also listed gun owners and veterans of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars as potential risks. <clears throat> well, which? That was in the report. Now, well, then that doesn't really include me because I was... I was only in, like, before all that, like, the first Desert Storm. You're safe. Okay. With you're the, safe. Yeah, because yeah, no, Desert that, Storm that, was in Iraq. That, that was wasn't. Away. Right. So you're, 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 you're yeah. fine. Yeah, cool. I wouldn't worry about Mike it. Mike German for the American Civil yeah, Liberties. I mean, you might fall under one of these others, like, uh... Christian, well, anti-abortion. No, no, no I'm not gun owners. practicing Christian, though. Yeah. Remember, my, my oh, that's right. Yeah, is freedom. Your freedom is yeah. the Constitution and the Bible in your 45. Yeah. I think you're good, then. Yeah. You're fine. What was They're waiting for you right outside yeah. the door. You might not want to <laughs> hang around us, but I think you're okay. Anyways, the ACLU guy said, uh, and he's also a former FBI agent, said, certainly the right-wing report is focused far too much on rhetoric and things people say and things people think rather than on certain criminal activities and the people involved in criminal activity. There is plenty of crime out there for federal, state, and local law enforcement to worry about. They do not need to invent threats that uh, have no actual <coughs> basis in reality. So it's kind of thinking now, uh, the think, uh, thought thinking police. Thought police, yeah. Polit political correctness. Uh, I, I was watching something on her today. Um, Sessions, I don't like her. Sessions was drilling her about... Who don't you like? Um, Big Janet. Sis. Uh, she was getting drilled up from Sessions. I bet she wasn't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you like that? Oh. But... Uh, she basically um, was telling the senator, well, you know, we, we're just going to have to disagree or agree to disagree because, you know, because some of her border patrol, you know, the ICE and everybody were, um, have a lawsuit against her because they won't let her. They, she ICE, won't let them ICE do the, the law. They won't let her enforce the law. They would rather, she would rather all these illegals come across, be, get papers, pay a fine and a fee, and, and, and then they're on her thinking is that now they're registered. Right, we've got them. We know who they are. We yeah. know where they live. We can track them. They, you know, they won't do any crimes. They're in the system. Right, right. Yeah, that, and it's like, uh, so the cops can't bust them and take them back to Mexico. They gotta, they gotta uh, give them a ride to the station and fill out some paperwork and take some money from them and let them stay. You know? Yeah. I, I want to because we're all about truth. Truth. We want to. There was reports that the, the the Department of Homeland Security bought you know like one point two billion. In reality, that number was a little high. They only bought three three quarters of a billion three rounds quarters of a billion uh, of ammunition. I, so, not not one point two. So so speculators ran up the price of ammo based on the one point nine billion rounds or something, and really it was only like quarter of that. I don't know what you said. Uh, yeah, the, I mean the uh, you were you were almost the senator off by a factor of two. I said three quarters of a billion. Three, right. Oh, a quarter, yeah. Three, three quarters. quarters of a billion. You mean words mean things? Yeah. Oh, that's why I disregarded what you said. One quarter and three quarters different. A little bit different. Okay. A little bit. I mean, I'd bit. gladly pay you uh, Is that a quarter's beer? worth <laughs> versus uh, <laughs> three quarters of a dollar. I'd rather pay you a quarter of a dollar. Now, um, will you? I'm paying him nothing. I'd gladly pay you, you on Tuesday, Tuesday for, for a hamburger, hamburger today. Monday, yeah. <laughs> today. Uh, so they didn't buy as many rounds of ammo as yeah, they thought. Yeah, and apparently there's some uh, lawmakers that are trying to pass a bill that says the government can't buy more than so many rounds in a six-month period or that. something I, like yeah, that. I saw her defending that, too. Oh, but we have a lot of training exercises. Not only do we train our own people, but we train other groups, ah, private, yeah, SWAT, private uh, local. Boston, Boston Police Department. The Department of Education SWAT team, by the way, they have a SWAT well, team. Well, you want them to be trained really well so they can collect on student loans. Real? I, I mean, that's important. But I heard they just they, use they pens, don't. though. What? Pens. I heard the, the Department of Education just uses pens. Right, wasn't that what uh, they were On their SWAT teams? Yeah, you know, instead of guns in, in yeah, schools and, and stuff, they were using guns pens. and and So wasn't that armored, armored, and armored, armored vehicles? vehicles and, yeah. 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 No, the Department of Education has a SWAT team that trains, and they've done about a dozen or so raids on people, like he said, who didn't pay their college school loans. <laughs> now... Do you really need a SWAT team for no, going but, after but, but a philosophy major because mm -hmm. he's uh, working at McDonald's because he can't get a job? But it allows you to keep your federal and state funding coming in. No, what it does is it arms federal agents. I don't think that That's they what would it does. go after and they're a arming student. More and more federal agents, and they're arming 
departments yeah. in those agencies that never had guns before. They're trying to build up a civilian military right. on the federal level because they're finding out that a lot of the state uh, sheriffs uh, are saying, screw you. Right. And so they got to build up their own. So it's going to be ugly. Well, but see, I, you know, I don't have any, uh, I mean, uh, a Department of Education SWAT officer doesn't have any legal control. He has authority. all of the th legal authority to enforce all federal laws. Mm. Yes. So I not only the are they training them to be SWAT, they're deputizing them. They are law enforcement, o federal law enforcement office, mm. like an FBI agent, like a. So they have uh, to have a sheriff accompany them when they come to my house, right? Because the sheriff has jurisdiction over. They can, but a lot of sheriffs, you know, cooperate. Just now, I mean, some of them are putting it back. He, I mean, I, I mean, some, he will now have. sheriffs are pushing back and they're exercising their legal authorities within the states, and that's why they're right-winged extremists because they believe in local control and, and state sovereignty as opposed right. to a federal government. Well, that's how it's but I'm telling you, the federal government is arming more and more non-law enforcement people so they can get more guns on the street right. and give more power to the federal government. You are now an, a federal agent. Here's your badge and here's your gun. Right. Uh, but I, uh, I, I just I just clean the garbage cans. Uh, it's kind of a sneaky I, way I of know. building a military force. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know that all of this is an issue in part because we have a federal department of education. Right. right. And, and, and a Department of Homeland Security, and you now people. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm people are pushing to get I, try I, to get rid of that. I'm, uh, I'm talking agency. about having so much federal involvement right. in education. I know it's, what you were saying. It's, it's causing you, things like this. You, people that don't have a brain in their head. You have an issue with the Department of Education. I understand that. No, I have that. a huge issue with the Department, the Department of Education. Of anything. Yeah. Department of <laughs> Environmental, uh, EPA. <laughs> uh, What's the other one? Energy, uh, you name it, they could all. Yeah, go away. I, I don't know if they if the They're, EPA is armed yet, but I SWAT suspect they might be. Come around raiding you if you're using too much electricity. I mean, the EPA has drones. I don't know if they're armed. Drones. They have access to drones. Yeah. If I fear they for my them. life, can I shoot a drone out of the sky if it's over my house? I would. I I don't know. It depends. Uh, some Lawyer of them told me I just had to say I feared for my life and that would get me off the hook. Yeah, but aren't the drones, don't they operate at 10,000 feet? Oh, do they? Yeah, some, some of them, them, yeah. You could fear that. It's well, I'm not going to be able to see that. You no, know, you're not. <laughs> well, the guy on the news last night said no. I might be seeing these in my neighborhood. Yeah, oh, yeah you might be seeing <laughs> local ones. Well, yeah, and if you don't see them, Stephen, then don't worry about yeah. them because they're not there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, <laughs> just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there uh, and really? vice versa. Huh. Even though you Thanks see it, it clear. might not be there. Thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. Real quick, just to, I want to throw some local stuff in. We talked a, a while ago about the Lansing guy who got harassed and arrested and charged sitting in his own car, yeah, in his right. own driveway yep. what, in Lansing, Michigan. Um, and how much of a dick they were. Uh, apparently, they dropped the charges. Really? But they didn't That's drop right. the charges until the guy showed up for his court date. And yeah. had to spend money on his attorney and all that up there. Of they course. Said, oh, by the way, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, well, we were just kidding. The big moose out, out front should have told you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a great movie. Yes, yeah. it's uh, still a great movie. It, yeah, it's still great. Uh, yeah. So they, you know, they screw you over as much. They knew they were wrong. Um, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he could get sued for lawyer fees and stuff. Well, so I mean, you, if you lose in court, you have to pay court costs. I imagine if the court loses, don't they have to pay some kind of cost? Yeah, but did they lose? <laughs> they didn't lose. They didn't go to court. They didn't yeah. start. I mean, but that's, that's what, what they do to you. That's what they do to you. Damn, See, they so get right. you in the system. They make you spend a lot of money on attorneys and because it doesn't cost them really anything more. But they know it's screwing with you, and they know it's hurting you and punishing you. Yeah, because for Because sure. you better I mean, do this, and they go, oops, our mistake. And I'll tell you what, that'll teach the guy to sit in his own car on his own Yeah, car. and have a that's cigarette. That's with me on the purchase permit. Take me around yeah, I know, a couple exactly. years ago. I'm just going to yeah. have to get a fence all the way around my property with barbed wire at the top. Constantine wire. I know somebody that does, has that. They're in Battle Creek. And then I'll probably be considered a terrorist. He might be listening. He, I don't know if he's got, I don't know if he's got cantina Does he have any he's drones? Got, he's got a six or eight foot uh, chain link fence all the way around his property. SK. Smurling canvas. Nice. SK. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm serious. I'm going. No, to, I would love to. I'm going to the chain link fence for sure. But I mean, uh, because you know the dogs. And claymores. Yes. Remember, it says, "This side to yeah. enemy." <laughs> and always take the cluster with you when they're you're army up. guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. uh, see, he's that's, a veteran of the U.S. Army. Ooh, that's a good army. 
It's one of the best <laughs> in the world. Army. <laughs> the U.S. Army. US Army. Ooh, that's a good army. Small town in Craig, Colorado is seriously considering a proposal that would require every household in the town to own a sporting rifle equipped to hold high capacity magazines. Remember, it's Colorado, one of the most onious gun control laws passed there. Lots of sheriffs there saying we will not enforce these gun laws. The bill would uh, be applied to owner. Oh, wait a minute. I went too far. Oh, man. It wasn't Craig. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait a minute. You uh, went right ahead and gave away the punchline, Brian. Oh, yeah. No, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, really? Oh, I, I went no, too far. No, I mean, far. it's just a good thing that we're organized here. We are kind of organized. We, uh, we pride ourselves on, on satisfaction of the listener. I, 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 I cut that in the wrong spot. I'm blaming listener. you for that. Our listener. Don't find your place and, we'll and they, talk about something And they else just later. disconnected. <laughs> we, no. we lost our one listener. All right. Uh, so, anyways, they, they, they were going to do that more as a resolute, uh, as a, what do you call it? Resolution. Yeah, resolution. And they are discussing it. They don't really think they can do that, constitutionally require it, but they're trying to make a, a, a statement, and I think it's a good one. The dog crap hits the fan. This was in uh, North Carolina, and it said, uh, they wanted to build that would licensed owners of pit bulls, mastiff, rottweilers, and other large breeds of dogs to undergo a criminal background check, to take a four-hour uh, training course, and get an aggressive dog permit, all of which you had to pay for. This was going to be a state law in North Carolina. Yeah, that is completely and, absurd. And Rodney Moore's office, who he was the rep that proposed it, uh, was inundated with thousands of emails from people who were upset with the plan and it's probably going to be scrapped. He basically said was, uh, well, um, I really don't have any data that, that shows these dogs are any more aggressive. Because there is none. Uh, and in fact, uh, he didn't say this, but we will, uh, labs bite more people than these dogs do. Well, and, and probably so, small dogs and small bite dogs more people do. than labs. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's one of those knee-jerk. <laughs> It's a it's a Reaction emotional to, yeah. cosmetic. Oh, it has a pistol grip. Oh, and, it's a and, scary looking pit bull. And you elected me, and I really don't have anything to do, but I got to look like I got to do something, so I got to make these laws. It's busy work. I got to feel like I'm doing something. I wish it wouldn't feel like that because I would rather him sit on his hands and do nothing. We would get more out of him than, I, than this garbage. If I ever ran, my 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 platform would be. I, my my goal is not to write any laws. My goal my goal would be to amend at least twelve laws and get rid of them repeal. every year of my uh, uh, term. Functionally repeal, 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 repeal. Yeah. repeal. And uh, <clears throat> but no matter, that's my goal. Whatever law it is, repeal. get less laws. Not make. Can't they be busy doing that? They don't have to create new laws. Why don't they look at the laws that are on the book and say, "Gosh." We, you can't spit chewing tobacco on the sidewalk. 1833. We might want to get rid of that one. I don't know. You know, why don't they have spend their time doing that? So I don't think it's going to go through, but it just shows you, again, how stupid people are yeah, yes. with dogs or guns. And you did a nice meme, excuse me, where you had the assault rifle and a, and a pit bull. Yeah. And you said, uh, what was it? Yeah, it was something like they're both uh, inaccurately labeled and demonized yeah. and yeah. safe and, you know, the right hands. Right. And uh, so dogs and guns, uh, sad. That's all I have to say about that. I like dogs. That kind of stuff pisses me off because I have seen hundreds of the friendliest pit bulls you can imagine. I know. it. And don't you have a small little dog? I have a small dog and, and he's friendly. Shut and, up. And what did you say when I came over Vicious. one day? Said, you said, he might bite you. Yeah. The little <laughs> dogs are the ones you have to worry about. They're and I said, I, I, said, I said, no dog will bite me. I'm just a big, lovable bear. And what bear. happened? He didn't bite me. Yeah, right. He jumped on my lap and licked me. Yeah. No, he's a sweet dog. He liked that, didn't he? But he did bark a lot. He brought peanut butter with him. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> I, think you do, busy. I think you do know why. <laughs> to put in his Kong toy and let yeah. him go play like, some house. Rah, 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 rah. Is funny. that what he calls it? Yes, it's Kong toy. <laughs> Uh, Kong, yeah, I had one of those. Kong, Kong. yeah, uh, the rubber ball with the little hole in the middle. You put yeah. peanut butter in there. And... Oh, is that what you do? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot! Put it in the freezer. And I moving on. I didn't notice that. Arkansas, con carry of sorts. Constitutional carry. I don't think you can have constitutional carry of sorts. Well, this is where the wordsmithing is kind yeah. of like. Well, we'll call it constitutional carry because these right wingers love the Constitution. Right. Right. And what it does is ban firearms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they'll vote. Well, who will vote against you know constitutional? Yeah, theory, right. You know? And, and uh, as uh, as Tyler was saying, you know, he he says it mentioned or you mentioned it said it. it wasn't oh, it was you? Yeah, yes. said it was. It mentions concealed constitutional carry. Yep. So we don't know if you can open carry without a license or whatever. Make, but it allows people to to carry a gun uh, concealed on their person in their vehicles as long as they're not carrying it for unlawful purposes, mm -hmm. which is constitutional carry, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But then... Is it? Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It, it's not. Well, because it if you have to worry about keeping it concealed, mm -hmm. then it is not constitutional carry. I don't mean that. I meant the unlawful purpose. They have to assume that you're carrying the gun lawfully well, until you show that you're not. Okay. That's constitutional carry. That's the sure. idea. And if sure. you violate the law or someone else's rights with that firearm, robbery or whatever, uh, then you've created a, a, you know, you've committed a crime. So that's fine. But the, the thing is, we're not sure if open carry is going to be allowed. I'm assuming it is, but I, you know, I've been screwed well, by assuming before. Yeah, you can't assume that. <laughs> Anyways, it's a little better than it was, hopefully. So that's five states now that are going that way. And again, we know of... Uh, I don't know, 15, 16 other states that have some language at least written up in bills. and Whether they pass or not, we don't know. Uh, Michigan hasn't even addressed it yet. Well, hell, we can't even get Michigan to, to pass a, anything in regards to gun because we have an anti-gun governor. Who vetoes bills that should be vetoed yeah, sometimes. Yeah, and we're, we won't like get into that. 59. Yeah, yeah, perhaps, yeah. perhaps. But there's other bills that have corrected that and... Uh, hasn't even moved yeah, out sure. of Yeah, sure. And I guess the point is there is movement on the pro-gun side, too, in legislation uh, lot, across the country. Well, probably it's more not so. reported widely yeah. at all. It's yeah, and we all have, of the moms that go out there and it's not dirty march laundry. around. And, yeah, sure. They did have a, a anti-NRA rally in Washington, D.C. Did you see that? Millions of people showed up. No, that's was, not true. Oh, yeah, there that's thousands. Right. There were less than millions. At least thousands like of people. Tens of thousands. There, there was, no, there were less than that. 900 people. No, less. Dozens? <laughs> dozens. Bingo. Or there, dozen. There were dozens of people, less than 100. Uh, beautiful day in Washington. Beautiful spring day. I'm sure the cherry blossoms no, were... No, no, no. There, it was an ice storm that day. No, the, and they had maybe not even 100 people. But what was impressive is they had a lot of press there. When we have our pro-gun rallies, we... You know, a couple people. We can't up. get the we can't get the press there, but we have nine hundred to thousand people show up in a winter storm uh, because you know we're right and they're wrong. Yeah. So. Yep. Uh, Feinstein prefers militarized police to private assault weapons. She does. Of course she yeah. does. She does. And and she she made because that because she's statement. a little fascist dictator yeah. bitch. She made that statement talking about. Talking and I mean bitch. Where I a, she's after a female the Boston dog. bombing, she was asked. Don't you think there were people in she Watertown is. or Boston when this suspect was running around that would have liked a gun and, to protect themselves? And she, and she said, well, oh, if, I bet there were. Say, I bet, I'm sure there were, but <laughs> if you're going to say that then maybe they wanted an assault, wipe, assault weapon. Yeah. So, like As our vice weapon president now. said, <laughs> you sound yeah. like bombing. Uh, yeah, and she said, just oh, you can get a, a shotgun. A shotgun will work gauge, just as well. Get yourself safe. a 12 gauge shotgun. You'll be safe. Unless it has a pistol grip. Look, there was... Or it's a semi-automatic. There was military police and even the Department of Education was there to help out find They the had them, yeah. So. All they had were books. <laughs> None of them were the Constitution. No. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Communist Manifesto, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Bl uh, Mayor Bloomberg, a, a patron saint of liberty and freedom. Yeah, well, he's sure. just looking out for your best interest. He of course is, he is. Uh, just like with the soda band. He's doing he God, God's work. I mean, let's think of all the good things he's done for us. He, he Salt, he got it off the tables at restaurants. Yep. Smoking in public places. Gone. Gone. Guns that are worthwhile. Gone. 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 Uh, so, soda, pop. soda pop. Yeah. Gone. Trans fats. We forgot trans fats. Damn, I want a 16-ounce Coke and some fries. Can't, can't do it. What, and a 45. What, what has happened with that soda band? Because the judge turned it down. Oh, right, it's yep. being appealed, I think. It, yeah, and that's what he did with the smoking. Was yeah. it was they said you can't do this, and he appealed it, and he's kind of rich and an idiot. And the so beauty is, for the beauty is though, is that he's just a mayor, and I don't have to live in New York. I can leave his his stinking city. Yeah, right, but the but problem he, is, the problem is he's powerful because he has mayors against all guns. He calls them illegal oh. guns, but it's all guns. So he's very influential. How many mayors? Well, the mayor's like six hundred. Right? Virgin Monero's on there. He's on there. Uh, Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. Right? There's like 13 of mayors in Michigan that are in that group. So don't say he's harmless it, and it doesn't affect him because he what, does. What happens he wants presidency. 
what tends to happen is things like gun control, they fail at the federal level, but then cities and states start doing it, and it grows and grows. Right. Because the next state says, well, they did it. We should probably do it, and, and that's what happens. That's why Colorado doing what they did with gun legislation worried me because they've been a red state, you know, I mean, historically, and they do something like that. I worry that other states see it and might start headed that heading that way, yeah. especially when we, this, you know, like I've been saying, the, the equal rights gay marriage stuff is you know, blooming like it is and, and getting more and more attention. And what's that? what that's doing is pushing people to vote for liberals who believe in those sort of equal rights things and also gun control. And you get that as an added little bonus, I guess. Gun Owners of America, hold that thought. I'm going to get through Bloomberg here in a second. Quote, the people who are worried about privacy have a legitimate worry. But we live in a complex world where you're going to have to have a level of greater security than you did back in the olden days, nope. if you will. I'm not sure what he means by that. He's, but, and our laws and our interpretation of the Constitu Constitution, I think, have to change. Right. Yeah. I, I hate the man. I mean, he runs as a Republican, then he runs as an independent, or Democrat, now he's an independent. Uh, pick one. The right of the people to have to go out and buy a gun. Is that how it means by changing it? Because it's more dangerous. Oh, so yeah, you need yeah. more guns. Yeah, I, I think so. Well, if he used but, logic, he would think that. But getting back to what you were saying about Colorado, and it's an influx of certain people, and we'll say it, it's immigration to a certain extent. Larry, uh, Larry yeah, Pratt, Pratt and Gun Owners of America had a nice article uh, this week about the, the immigration and, and, and giving uh, citizenship to the illegal immigrants, immigrants that are in here now, immigrants. Immigrants, illegal aliens. That's what I like. Illegal aliens, people. yeah. Felons. They were doing some things, and they were saying, yeah. you know, in in 2035, this was in California, particularly. He was giving an example how California was somewhat of a Republican state in the 60s, right. and they actually uh, helped get uh, Nixon and Ronald Reagan and stuff elected. Uh, but when they started to have more immigration coming in there and you start getting more uh, Latinos and, and uh, migrant workers and stuff that were coming in and voting, you can see how quickly it's gone to the left now. He's saying, <clears throat> take that to the whole friggin' country, and in 50 years, you're, you're going to have a socialist uh, government. That's what I've been saying. You know that is the point that is the goal. of immigration reform yeah. and amnesty, right? Yep. Is to have this huge influx of Democrats. I mean, they have an insta base. When, when you, you make all these criminals, like you said, make them citizens. And then they vote for the guy who made them citizens. The guy who mm -hmm. will give them free or things. The I mean, that seems to be human nature, unfortunately. At least American Bloomberg. nature. Here, here. Yeah. Bloomberg's also the one that uh, they had a thing, I don't know why, where I saw it, but it was 15 stupid quotes by 15 stupid senators or something like that. And he was talking about... No, you know, semi-automatic rifles, and he's like, you shouldn't be able to pull the trigger and then just spray, you know, something like that. And the, the reporter actually said, no, you're getting that confused with semi Because he's like, that would be all pistols and everything, you know, if you got rid of semi-automatic. And he's like, no one should be able to pull the trigger and just have it spray. And she's like, she actually corrected him and said, no, you're talking about fully automatic. Yeah. We're talking about semi. He goes... So what? Doesn't matter. Basically, he's like, I don't even care. though I'm, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I mean, it's just, rare that somebody would correct, yeah. correct yeah. a politician like that. And that's, I mean, I think there are very few. I don't. I haven't really run across one. There are very few anti-gun politicians that know a damn that's thing about, about yeah. firearms. That's true. Yep. Or they, U.S. history. Or they blew, <laughs> They just believe the propaganda that's put out there. Here's a, here's a question. Um, does the federal government have, uh, can they make a law that makes other states recognize other states' concealed carry permits so that you have, a, like a driver's license, it's, it's accepted in, in all um, no. states. Well, I don't think why so. not? And I don't think that's any different than sales tax. I don't think it's any yeah, different than Yeah, but here's the difference. Licenses. Here's the difference. Uh, the right to keep and bear arms is a federal in, in the U.S. In, Constitution. In the Constitution, and, it's been, yeah. and it now applies to all the states. So, sure. in essence, the argument could be made that, yeah, they do, because the Constitution says... You can't infringe on people's rights. Well, the other just because side they that, go across if, the state line. If that's line. the case, then we don't need a law. So, so you're saying you shouldn't create a new law. Right, but then every all, every state should allow people to carry weapons that's if in you every state. Well, I, the think that's, I think federal. that's true. Right. I, I know what you're. True. I know where you're going. The federal government shouldn't force things on other states, but we're talking about a, a, a constitutional right. 
It's not, it's not like uh, sales tax. It's not like you have to wear blue shirts or something like that. What they're saying, they're making all the states follow the Second Amendment. See, in, in which they're trying to take away the Second Amendment, but at the same time, they're trying to force all the states to follow it. So, I mean, it's kind of... Well, but these this was a, the good part of it. I mean... <laughs> the good part? <laughs> of, that, of that bill that was in there. There was a thing saying that, that it would be reciprocity between all the states. Well, then that would help my argument because my argument is that it's uh, it's yes. not federal. It's it's for me to limit all government. It says no Congress. doesn't say no federal Congress shall. Well, it was referring to the federal. Right. Absolutely. And that could be argued in one. But the, the, the thing is, though, uh, there's five states now where you don't need a license. So, so I see where those you're people from Arizona that go it's to New York and they carry a concealed weapon? I'm Bloomberg. saying, yeah, they can. Bloomberg can be upset. I'm saying, yeah, they can. Yeah, if you will, but that's Good. okay. But I mean, that's the argument is, is do, does, can the federal government say that? And I think in this case, with this issue being a Second Amendment mm-hmm. issue, I, I think they can. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know that it'll happen, but uh, Governor Christie, our anti-gun governor, uh, is... Uh, writing his own gun control laws and working with the legislature in New Jersey. They're going to try to ban dozens of popular handguns and rifles. Uh, If you don't have firearm training, you get no uh, firearm permit, FID card. You're going to have to uh, renew your FID card more and more. It's going to be uh, renewable. New Jersey's governor? You're going to have anti, mm-hmm. yep, yes. anti-governor sitting on the panel that set the training requirements. Ten-year jail sentence for anyone who picks up their children at school while en route to and from hunting or target shooting. So if I'm just going to go hunting with my kids afterwards, I go into a school and I get caught, $10,000 fine, You're ten years in jail. You're Republican governor of yes. New Jersey. The one, yeah, but he's he's gearing up for to run for president. And he, I, I'm assuming he wants to win yeah, as a he, moderate. He's, yeah, he's the fat guy that hugged the president. That's when, a uh, little. Sandy that's, came. That sounds like he actually di- dived head first into the liberal party. Yeah. Well, well, and that's so. what I said is it's going to be a hell of a primary between Hillary Clinton and Chris Christie. Did you get that off the internet? 2016. It's got to be true. It's on the internet. That don't. Sound you right. said ten years. No, it, it is true. Ten, yeah. ten years. Ten years. That's more than you can get for yeah, no, no. several he's, other he's violent crimes. For sure. I mean. Everybody loved him and thought he was a I don't know if he's going to pass this. I don't know if he'll sign it, but these are some of the things that are being proposed. Wow. Uh, I really liked it. If you're on a secret government list created by federal bureaucrats without any charges or conviction, if you're on that list, you you cannot own a firearm in New Jersey. Uh, Which list? I'm out. The secret government list. Which which was the terrorist watch list? It's a secret government list. Doesn't specify. Oh, okay. Yeah. I any mean, it, any government. Yeah. Uh, Getting off into some kind of weird like. So they're gonna get, they're gonna have the FID card that's gonna have a private data strip on it, and you're gonna have to show that in your driver's license when you go and buy guns, even though they do a background check through an FFL. Ban all private sales. See, this is where I like the chip in the wrist thing. This is the selling point. I mean, because you could get all this stuff just on a little chip, and you wouldn't have to carry a card for this. That would be nice. For you know what I'm saying? This is it's if just, you could put your Kroger card. I can on only there put too. so many plastic cards in my wallet. Right. You know? A multi card. No, a chip. Just a chip in your wrist. Oh, so there's all your data on it. Yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah, and I think I think it just and then you just yeah, have the scanner you. on every every public and private door, and so yeah. they just know when you walk through and when you walk out. Absolutely. And they'll say, you know. Stephen, you know, so and so just walked in. He's a veteran. He's got so many years of this. Here, and here, and not just doors. Scanners. I mean, scanners on lampposts going he down likes, public streets. He likes big butts, oh, and he cannot lie. Or require oh, them in, in your bedroom too. I mean, why wouldn't you? Well, yeah. I mean, it's just public safety. You're yeah. not going to disagree with that. You like big butts, and you cannot lie. It's going to be on your data. I like all of them. I like all, all of us. Big butts are good butts. You know, they keep you warm at winter. Hey, we talked about uh, the kid that got uh, for a long time arrested and suspended from school because he wore an NRA T-shirt. And arrested. I mean, arguably, he should have been punished a little bit for wearing any th- propaganda from the NRA. I mean, <laughs> really. <laughs> but eh. why wasn't it gun owners of America? Yeah, exactly. I'm That's trying, what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. A law enforcement officer. I mean, with any degree of education maybe kindergarten, first grade, 
who can read. What did the cop base arresting the kid for? What I mean, disorderly conduct. Hang on, hang on. I'll tell you. The education Is it against the law? Yep. I mean, well, cop he, can tell you to he take caused, his shirt off. He caused children to chant. stand on the yeah, stand up on, was the, it, Jared? on the tables and well, chant his well, this, name. The, this, the teacher said, you have to take that off or turn it inside out. And he right. said, well, I'm not going to do yeah, that. I'm not, I wouldn't and they, they sort of got into like, you know, yes, you are. And, and the teacher started getting bitchy about it. And then the students in the cafeteria were like, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. You know, and that was disruptive. Cool. And the teacher got her and hands now, wet. And let's, but they didn't arrest any of the kids for getting on no. the tables and being disruptive. Because it was his fault. fault. He it was, was responsible fault. for if their he actions. If he wouldn't have did that, they wouldn't have got it. He was responsible for their actions. And now let's not forget that he disrupted the very important educational process of, lunch. of lunchtime. Yeah. Lunchtime. That's a disrupting educational process. Don't know what that is. And obstructing an officer. Anyways, uh, obstructing an officer. they dropped all the charges. I don't, I don't know what yeah. that means. Well, they, I'm they, telling they you right now. I know, charges were dropped, so. I'm served in the military, and I'm sure civilian law enforcement has the same thing, and it's called conduct unbecoming of an officer. Yeah. And this guy should be. Drummed out of the service? Stripped naked, the cop. Strip naked of his badge. See, you thought it was going but somewhere else. You know what will happen? I was getting the flower out. He'll get a week of paid vacation, and that'll be his punishment. Mm. He won't even get punished. Suspended no, nothing. Probably pay. a medal. Anyways, he returned to school. Good job arresting that eight. That, uh, that Where did go? He's fighting terrorists every day. Sons <laughs> of the Second Amendment bought like 100 T-shirts, distributed them to students, and they all wore them on the same day he came back. Hoorah. Great, great victory. Did they all get arrested? They didn't. So the law wasn't applied equally to everybody. They didn't See? disrupt lunch. This Jared kid was a troublemaker because he made people chant his name. The co- yeah. What do you do when you're branded and you know you're a man? Branded! Rawhide. No, no. it was branded. I'm Chuck Connors. You know, yeah, nineteen sixty three. No, he was in a show well, called I know Brandon. Chuck Connors. Yeah, I'm just saying. yeah, it was right one. Do you know he played first base for the Chicago Cubs and all that? I knew he was six foot six. Is that why they won so many? He's pennants? from Canada, yep. isn't he? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't oh, think yeah. so. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, uh, Google it. I'm sure it's not. Well, that's right. I read it. TSA knives. You want to talk about them? Well, just bring it up to the people who might not know about it. But yeah, they teaching do. safety to Americans. Is that what that is? That's what TSA stands for, teaching safety to Americans. No, they postponed their new rule that was supposed to allow little tiny knives and things like hockey Nail sticks clippers. and golf clubs golf on, clubs. on, on uh, airplanes. They postponed that rule because it would be too dangerous to allow people to carry those knives. No. And the reason they're using yeah. the the reason that they used to, that the reason they postponed it, yeah. wow, that is that they have to give Supposedly, Public the, unions, the unions, yeah, and there's a, a certain amount of time to make comments on, on yeah. rule changes like this. So Crap. apparently, you have to allow public comment on restoring freedom, which I don't get that. That seems to be the, the narrative, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We've heard about the uh, 3D printers printing uh, magazines. And, I watched uh, it. It's cool. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Lowers? I might have Lower one receivers. in my basement. Now he's going to try to print a complete plastic handgun. So the only thing he might have to have metal is the firing pin. He's not sure. Right now he thinks he could get four or five shots out of it before it melted or broke apart. Oh, but just like a Glock, it'll go through the metal detectors at the airport. Right. Well, wait, wow. wait a minute. There's the Undetectable Firearm Act of 1988. Makes it a federal offense to manufacture, import, import sell, Ship, deliver, possess, transfer, or receive weapons that can fool an airport metal detector. What if you don't go through an airport? However, it well, doesn't fool it. What is that? However, mean? well, they're not very smart. <laughs> I mean, the TSA uh, agents are do. slightly less it intelligent than a metal minute. detector. So, when you get taken into court, are they going to have that metal detector there? Because he's the one that was fooled. I would think so. Were you fooled by his actions? I mean, because you have a right to meet your, your accuser. accuser right? Yeah, The accuser is the federal government. Uh-huh. No, you cannot even have it. And it says, however, they give some leeway to manufacturers who want to test certain designs or make certain prototypes. Either way, Wilson, who is the guy that's been doing this, is aware that he faces risks by doing this. But he doesn't care. He's willing to take that risk. Uh he says, and once the design is out on the internet, you're never going to take I, it back. I, I, I kind of want to do some research on this act. Does this only apply to manufacturers? It, well, if no, you, you if can you, possess if it. If you actually try to fool the right, that's what I meant. Because by I mean, it doesn't say it. It says you can. It makes it to offense to manufacture, import, import, sell, what, ship. What says that? 
This I mean, undetectable I the fire. That's, that's but copy where's, and paste where's right the here, code? But it just says an act of 1980. What's the, the act undetectable number? firearms act of 1980? If you want to Google it, that's fine. That's what I said. But there's also an right alcohol, now. tobacco, firearm. But here it is. Code. It just says it makes it a federal offense to manufacture, import manufacture all those means things. To make a lot of, though. Really? Don't no, it just means to make just one. one. Yes. Well, that would be like R and D or prototype. That's they allow that. some leeway to test certain designs and make oh, okay. prototypes. I'm sure there's a definition. So I think if he makes one, defines some of these words. Right. I guess because you point. there is an ATF code that says you can actually build your own firearm at your own home as long as you don't sell it, take, uh, give it away and stuff like that. So I mean, yeah. they all, and he ha and Wilson has an FFL now. Okay, so he so can, he can manufacture the lowers is what he wanted for the right. ARs. Yeah, and he can sell them. Uh, so he you know he's he's pushing the envelope and that's this that's is what he does. Right. Good, but I think it's cool because it allows yeah. anybody to uh, make handguns even if um, you only get four or five in? shots out of it. Can't believe this. Nah, they usually have two or three calls by now. And and um, and people can laugh. They say, "Well, what good is uh, you know three or four shots?" But during the Second World War, they manufactured a cheap disposable handgun that figured wouldn't fire more than ten rounds before it would fail or jam. Better than zero. Them. But you could get and a they bunch were, of them. They were there. dropping them from airplanes for the resistance, and so they were little handguns. And so you, you said put Civil War. Civil War, yeah. Ten thousands, you know, I mean, if you had a hundred thousand people making those guns and they had, had ten or twelve shots, I that's, mean, a lot. that's a little army. What so. I would do is I would actually make the barrel um, big enough to allow a, a steel sleeve well, so that's the homeowner what I think, could I think put. that's eventually what he will have to do, is he will have to get a commonly made barrel that people can pick up and right. manufacture everything else. Then you, you mail that barrel to your destination, then you take the firearm on to, with you and then... Reed wants background checks for uh, powders, explosive powders. I saw it. Um, <laughs> Good thing they're not explosive. Even though the Boston bombers got their gunpowder from fireworks, he wants to still. I mean, they've been trying for Makes years sense. to put in, uh, what do they call those little uh, tracer things, inside yeah. of powder so that they can track where the powder was made and stuff like yep. that. That's going to solve a crop. Oh, we now know that this was made in Elkhart, Indiana. Well, how's that going to help us, Jim? Yeah. Millions. I don't people. know, but we know it was made in Elkhart, Indiana. It's not going to bring the dead people back, though. It doesn't matter. It's not going to solve the crime. Yeah. Well, but when you make people register their black powder and their and their pressure cookers and their and their, and their pressure cookers. Yeah. Well, that's what's going to happen, and and that's. That's not why I went out good. and bought a bunch of pressure cookers. Well, well, what was it? Uh, Sonoma Sonoma place? Yeah. Well, uh, Williams and Williams Sonoma, Sonoma or something. Sonoma? Yeah. Well, pull them off the shelves. Yeah, they're five, they're five thousand dollar pressure cookers that everybody's going to buy when you go. And Pay you know forty dollars at Sears for. Well, I'm just going. We're right after here. I leave here. I'm meeting my wife. We're going to a big sub subdivision sale. I'm just going to buy up every every pressure cooker I can find, big but, ones and and every firework. Ones. You can. And and black powder, lead, lead, have it. lead and, and ball bearings. Yeah. Oh yeah, ball bearings, steel yeah, shot. BBs. You know this is being recorded. That's that's fine. Okay. Yeah. You can uh, buy those things. Absolutely. In fact, I think you can mix them all in a pressure cooker. I probably have them all in my house right now. I'm sure. I'm going to buy marbles too because I'm going to make my own claymores. Yeah, but marbles, wouldn't they, well, yeah, I suppose. Oh, it, it, would, hurt. it would hurt. I know it would hurt, but it would they melt or not, I don't know. No. Might not fast enough. <laughs> Might make it worse. It's yeah. going to be <laughs> molten <laughs> microscopic <laughs> cinders of, or not glass. cinders, but yeah, shards, shards, of, glass. shards of glass. It would cut you in half. All right, we got last few minutes, and I'm going to get all kinds of pressure, but nobody listens to the show, so I'm not worried about it. But it's going to sound racist, and it's really not. We're going to look at the top 10, really 11, because the seventh place tied. We're going to look at the top 11 cities that have the highest murder rates in the nation. And everybody uses Chicago as an example, but it's not Chicago. You just come right back to Vehicle City in Flint. Number one is Flint, Michigan. 64.9 murders per 100,000. All these are going to be per 100,000. I'm going to quickly read them, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the mayors of these cities. Nate, you can see it? I can see it. I'm yeah, you just waiting like, to see what you... Okay. I don't, I don't know what your point is. All right. So, uh, well, you'll, I you'll, do. you'll see what my point is. Yeah. Number two, uh, Detroit at 54.6. Number three, New Orleans, Louisiana at 53.5. St. Louis, Missouri, 35.5. Baltimore, Maryland, 35. Birmingham, Alabama, 33.3. Newark, New Jersey, 33.1. Tied with Oakland, California at 33.1. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 
28.9, Cleveland, Ohio at 24.6, and Memphis, Tennessee at 24.1. And I'm looking at the mayors of all these cities, and they all have one thing in common. Oh, let's look at some other they Democrats. They all have mayors? They're all mayors They're of all big mayors. cities that are on this list. Big cities. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll give you some more demographics. Uh, some people think I'm going to go with race, but I'm not. I'm going to go with political party. So the number one Flint, the mayor of Flint, is a white man who's a Democrat. Detroit, Michigan, black man, Democrat. New Orleans, white guy, Democrat. St. Louis, white guy, Democrat. Baltimore, Maryland, black woman, Democrat. Birmingham, Alabama, black man, unknown, I couldn't find, but he was supported by the state's Tea Party. Uh, so we don't really know what he was. Uh, 30, uh, Newark, a black uh, Democrat. Oakland, California, Asian female Democrat. Baton Rouge, black Democrat. Cleveland, Ohio, a black Italian. I didn't know they had black Italians, but they had black and it, his yeah, mom was Italian. For it. Do they? Yeah, but I can't say it then. Okay, uh, Democrat and uh, Memphis, Tennessee, black man, uh, Democrat. What was the common denominator? They all almost all, capital all Democrat, except for that. Tea they were party all guy. they were all human beings. They were all yeah. Well, they were all mostly Democrats, yeah, and I think and that's that, the problem. I, yeah, I know that is the problem. That's exactly the problem. That's why big cities end up like that because for some reason. Well, we don't know that. We don't know that that's a causation. Could be a small no, city. no, no. no. It, well, I think long term it is. Well, yeah, maybe. I think it is because what what do you have in places that are run by Democrats? You have poverty. You have high, high unemployment. unemployment. Yeah. Liberal policies. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And yes. Yeah. Unemployment. And that leads to things like murder. Yeah, and mostly uh, uh, poor young black males are the ones being killed and who are doing the killing. In, in these cities, yeah. <clears throat> hey, uh, real quick, we only got a couple minutes left, but I just want to put this out. Uh, the the, uh, the wake-up call for Sherry Shepard. She's a co-host on The View. Very liberal, woman's program, la, 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 you know, all that crap. crap. She like revealed uh, last uh, this week. She revealed reviewed that her family will be getting a gun after a home invasion scare that terrified her son Jeffrey and husband. She says, "I'm I'm trying to calm Jeffrey down, and all I had was this wicker basket. I had nothing. I didn't have a bat. Nothing. We're gonna get a gun." And it was a false alarm, but she finally realized that was scary. And she had nothing if someone actually had been around. Yeah. So she's going to get a gun. Didn't she call the police? The police, yeah. Well, yeah, I think the security does that. But they were yeah. Oh, they came 20 minutes later. So. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. They said, ah, don't worry about it. You know, it was a false alarm. Yeah, so when seconds count, Whoopi Goldberg said, yeah, you don't need a gun, you should just get a bat. Yeah. The bat will work. She needs to work on some new material. Uh, they anyways, all need to work that's the new material, but the, there isn't any new material. That's at least wrong. she kind of gets it now, and it's too bad that something ha like that had to happen. Yeah, but I don't go too far because she might get it. Yeah. What she thinks is she's high profile. She deserves to own a gun because she knows she's not going to hurt anybody else. She still probably doesn't think you should. Oh, maybe I don't know. She I don't know what her stance she's was. She's entitled to safety. I don't know what her stance was before that, and I don't know where she lives. What. Excuse me. Was that is is that New York? I think or? it's in New York. Well, good luck getting a gun. <laughs> uh, and that's just about it, I guess. I don't know. I don't have anything else. Do you? I, I mean, there's there's a lot. Well, yeah, there's a lot, but we don't have a lot of time lots, to cover it. Yeah. You say uh, buy our book, My Parents Open Carry. You can go to myparentsopencarry.com. You get a second book free. With the purchase of My Parents Open Carry, a great book, right, Stephen? Yes, I believe it's right, recipes Tyler? that yep, can be made in a pressure cooker. Yeah, it's, it's recipes that can be made in a pressure cooker. That's Very good. actually Inspire magazine, I think, that has that. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. It looks like our books. The covers it's, are similar. Yeah, it, but it, it's, it's out. a little different. <laughs> Wrap it up. Hey, you can get My Parents Open Carry as a, an, electron, get an electronic download of it, too. I forgot to say so that. So that's very cool. That's very cool. It's cheaper that way. It's a PDF or some kind of Yeah, thing it's, here. it's an electric down, uh, you know, electronic copy. And, uh, is that what it is? You you're the computer your IT guy. I mean, you're the yeah, engineer. Not, I don't know what the format is, but you're you, not can, IT. you can get it on your computer and yeah. read it. 
Yeah. So that's a really easy, cheap way to do that. Or you can come to the 15th floor of the Wilson Building, you can buy it right from us, and we'll autograph it for you. And we'll knock off $2 if you let us autograph it. But you have to be, <laughs> <laughs> you have to be here in the next 30 seconds. Yeah, well, well, every other Saturday, that. pretty much. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, what do you think the next thing that Bloomberg is going to go after in New York? Sex. Do you really? Didn't I mean, he already? So? I don't know. What do you do with sex? He uh, banned uh, sex shops, strip clubs, and all that. That within bastard! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> within so far, the last he's, straw. He's giving you the... I know. You can take my guns and my soda pop, but not my sex! <laughs> i got to make a stand. I'm Anyways. glad that's where you draw your line. <laughs> You're taking the guns. It's Take the salt. <laughs> This is my rifle. But, this is my gun. Oh, this is, that's this terrible. Is All right. So, anyways, we're we're done. Uh, we're getting the uh, you guys are idiots. Wrap it up. So, I don't tell that. Stay anyway. armed. Stay safe. Stay informed. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> hey, he's the new guy. He can do that. He part. can do it.